science teacher. How are you today? Are you ready to wear a lesson this morning? Very good. But before we go on with our discussion, let's be reminded first with our classroom rules and regulations. Number one, sit properly and avoid standing. Number two, be sure that you have prepared all the materials needed for our lesson. Number three, everybody should be active in class. Do not answer in chorus. Raise your hand if you want to answer. Number five, always listen to the direction. And lastly, always wear your smile. In the previous lesson, you learned that there are eight planets in the solar system that revolves around the sun. Now, let us try to do simple activities that will freshen up your mind. Let's play Deal or No Deal. Are you familiar with this game? Very good! Okay, using your show me board, you are going to write deal if the statement is correct and no deal if the statement is incorrect. Are you ready? I am between Earth and Saturn, but I am not Mars. I am Jupiter. Deal or no deal? What's the correct answer? Very good! Number two, humans are constantly walking on me. I am Earth. Deal or no deal? What's the correct answer? Yes, very good! Number three, I am huge with spat on me. I am Neptune. Deal or no deal? What's the correct answer? No deal. Very good. I have her ahead in picture. Do you want to see what this picture is? Okay. You can unbox this picture if you can answer the questions in the box that covers it. To make your task easier, I put some letters so that you will just simply identify the missing letters to reveal the word that will complete the sentence. Are you ready? Number one. Is the turning of the earth on its axis? What is the correct answer? Very good! It's rotation! Okay, number two. Is the movement of the earth around the sun on its orbit? What is the correct answer? Yes, very good! It's revolution! Number three is an imaginary line that runs through the earth from the North Pole to the South Pole, where the earth spins in a counterclockwise direction. What is the correct answer? Yes, very good! It's access. Now, what is our hidden picture? Yes, correct! Earth. What can you say about the planet Earth? Indeed, it is very beautiful. Do you want to sing a song? Come and join me sing this song. But remember to watch the video carefully because I will be going to ask some questions afterward. Of life going around the hot, 
hot sun Only one with water and life That's why planets envy me I am Earth I am Earth I am Earth <laughs> Wow! Amazing! I am Earth Green and blue Green mountain and blue blue sea Homes light up like stars at night So great! One and only special Earth I am Earth I am Earth I am Earth Yes! Right! Beautiful Earth Beautiful Earth Beautiful Earth! Wow! <laughs> Do you like the song? Very good! What is it all about? Very good! It's all about Earth. Earth is the only planet in our solar system that can sustain life. Earth is known as the blue planet. Do you know why? It is because this planet looks blue as seen from the outer space. Earth, our home, is the third planet from the Sun. It is the only planet known to have an atmosphere containing free oxygen, oceans of water on its surface, and, of course, life. Earth is the fifth largest of the planets in the solar system. It is smaller than the four gas giants, the Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, but larger than the three other rocky planets, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Earth has a diameter of roughly 8,000 miles or 13,000 kilometers and is round because gravity pulls matters into a ball, but it is not perfectly round. Earth is really an oblate spheroid because its spin causes it to be squashed at its pulls and swollen at the equator. While Earth orbits the Sun, the planet is simultaneously spinning on an imaginary line called an axis that runs from the North Pole to the South Pole. It takes Earth 23 and 934 thousand hours to complete the rotation on its axis and 365 and 2600 days to complete an orbit around the sun. Children, why is Earth called the blue planet? Correct! Very good! Because this planet looks blue as seen in the outer space. How do you describe the Earth? Yes, very good. It's correct. Earth is not perfectly round. It is an oblate spheroid. Let's play What's the Missing Letters? Game? Very good. So there are some words that has missing letters and you will guess the missing letters to complete the word. Are you ready children? Very good. Okay, let's start. Our very own planet is one of the members of the solar system. We must understand our neighboring planets in the solar system. The What's the missing letters here? Very good, correct! The solar system is composed of the Sun and the eight planets such as Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets are classified as inner planets and outer planets. What are the components of the solar system? The solar system is composed of the... What's the missing letter here?
correct. Very good. So the sun and all the objects that travel around it. The sun is orbited by planets and their moons, asteroids, comets, and other heavenly bodies. What are the eight planets in the solar system? The eight planets in the solar system are... What's the missing letter here? Very good! So, Mercury, another... Correct! Venus, for this one... Very good! Earth, another... Correct! Mars, another... Very good! Jupiter, here... Correct! It's Saturn, another... Correct! Uranus, and... Very good! Neptune. So what are the outer planets? The last four planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, are outer or... Very good! It's correct! Jovian planets. They are called gas giants. These gas giants are so called because they are much larger than other planets and are mostly made up of gas. They are set apart from the terrestrial planets by the astero asteroid belt. All of these gas giants have rings and moons. Of the four gas giants, Saturn has the most prominent ring. Do you want to play more games, children? Okay, very good. Let's play. Let's identify games. You will just simply identify the planets in the solar system according to its characteristics. Are you ready? Okay, number one. What is this planet? Yes, very good. It's correct. It's Mercury. Another. Number two. Venus, very good. It's correct. Three. Very good. Earth, it's correct. Next. Mars. Next. Jupiter, very good. Another. It's correct. Saturn. Another. Very good. Uranus, it's correct. And. It's correct! It's Neptune! Very good! Did you, did you learn something today, children? Mm, very good! Mm, let me check if you really learned something from our discussion. Let's play Fact or Blah. Using your show me board, write Fact if the statement is correct and plus if it is not correct. Are you ready, children? Very good! Okay, number one. The eight planets in the solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Fact or blah? Very good! It's correct! It's fact! The first four planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are called terrestrial or inner planets. Fact or blah? Very good! It's correct! Fact! Three. The last four planets, Jupiter, Saturn, 
Uranus, and Neptune are the outer planets or Jovian's planets. Fact or black? Very good! It's correct! It's fact! Everybody, get a sheet of paper and a pen. And let's answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer. Okay, number one. Which planet and the solar system has the characteristics that can support life? A. Earth B. Jupiter C. Mercury D. Neptune The correct answer is letter A, Earth. Number 2. Which of the following statement describes the inner planets? A. They are small and made up of ice and gas. B. They are large and made up mostly of gas. C. They are large and made of gases and metal. And letter D. They are solid and made up of rocks and metal. Okay, what's the correct answer? Very good! It's letter D. They are solid and made up of rocks and metals. Number 3. Which planet is farthest from the sun? A. Venus B. Uranus C. Mercury D. Neptune Correct! It's letter D. Neptune Number 4 which among the planets has extensive and complex ring system? A. Saturn B. Jupiter C. Uranus D. Neptune Very good! It's letter A. Saturn Number 5. Which planet is the brightest object in the sky? A. Venus B. Uranus C. Mercury D. Neptune Very good! It's letter A. Venus Okay, congratulations! It's awesome! You got it all rock correct! You all did a great job! You deserve a yes clap! Okay, everybody, let's do it! One, two, three! One, two, three! Yes! Okay, hope uh, you enjoy our lesson! And see you again next time! This is your teacher, Annie! God bless!